Hey here, GhostFixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Wednesday, June number five, June 5th. Let's get down to business. Let's have some fun today. Today is 10% discount day. All right, so any package you want. Today is also run your grandfather on every single Aaron E. Needs day today too. But anyway, it's 10% discount day. So any package you want, go to the website to purchase. Type in the promo code fun. 10 and you'll get 10% off that package that goes that's f u n 1 0 and you'll get 10% off that package that goes for any package we offer. I have the UFC this weekend. If you want 10% off, pick the UFC package and type in the f u n 1 0 and get yourself a head start, get 10% off the UFC or it applies for everything. Benny day, Benny week, Benny month, Benny year. Whatever you want. Let's have fun. Let's continue to grind. And hey, if you're new to my page, welcome. Hop on down to that subscribe. Give your boy Benny a subscribe. Tap the bell right next to it. You get my videos as soon as they pop up. And then head on over to Facebook. Head on over to Instagram. Start following along over there. We have free content from all five handicappers every single day. You can't see me. And then follow me along over on Twitter as well at Benny Bistro. The Benny promo beatdown continues today. Yesterday's special was the NFL full season for half price. Anybody who signed up before 10 p.m. got the NFL full season, early bird gets the worm, half price. And a few people did take advantage of it. And honestly, it's getting closer. The NFL will be here before you know it. So shouts to the couple people who, that did join. I figured not too many people were going to take advantage of that one because it's not something that benefits the right now. And trust me, I totally understand that. I do. I completely understand that. But today is Wednesday. There will be a new promo released later on for the Benny promo beatdown, and we are going to continue to put in work. Day in, day out, week in, week out. Yesterday was another split day in picks. Free play was on the St. Louis Cardinals. I was gambling in Havana. I took a little risk. Hey, lawyers, guns, and money. Uh. They'll get me out of this. Hey! Dun, 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 dun. I said it in the video yesterday. The play was a little risky, but I felt we had the right edge, and we lost. Okay, Reds won 4-1. to one. Then, you know, on to the premium card for yesterday. Split the day 2-2. Two and two. Went 1-1 one and one top tier. We won on the Dodgers on the run line. That was a five-unit top tier winner. Got the job done for us. Once again, Dodgers continue to make us money. Dodgers continue to make us money. They crushed the D-backs 9-0. to zero. And then the play of the day, the play of the lifetime. I honestly feel like running and hiding out of the camera. Honestly, honest to goodness. Can I go now? Can I go now? Where's my crystal ball? Where's my magic eight ball? Crystal ball, crystal ball. Please tell me how many runs the Miami Marlins will score against the Brewers on a Tuesday night. Honestly, guys, I got to own this one. Throw your tomatoes at me. Embarrassing lawyers, guns, and money. They won't get me out of this. Nope, they will not get me out of this one. Top tier play on the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And the Brewers got completely crushed by Miami. Not just a little bit crushed. Completely crushed. Miami put up 11 runs in one inning. The Brewers lost 16 to 0. What a damn train wreck, all right? But hey, that's pro sports. That is the human factor. And at any given moment, any given day, we can see even the not-so-good teams put up 16 runs. A 16-0 shutout against the Milwaukee Brewers. The goal is to be on the right side of those games, though, or fade. You know what I'm saying? So we took the pre – it was just a train wreck of a game. I own that one. Okay. We took a premium loss on the Indians Twins over nine as well. And we rounded out the night with a win in the WNBA. Three unit win on Seattle Storm Moneyline winner. WNBA is rolling. We are profiting. Six and two to start the WNBA season. They, those packages are available on the website as well. You will get discounted on those as well. And then that wraps up our Tuesday. On to Wednesday. Discount day. Any pack you want. 10% off. Jump on it. Uh... Fun 1-0, fun 10, F-U-N 1-0, shouts to the ghost team. Hey, Chase has NASCAR for anybody who likes NASCAR racing. I don't know a damn thing about NASCAR, okay? But uh, what we do is I usually just give him what I bet on UFC, and then he usually tells me what to take on NASCAR, and we just make money. It's as simple as that. 
Uh, so, coach, if you're into NASCAR or you want to make some money, go check out Chase for NASCAR, okay? Jimmy is on fire still. Jack and Derek as well. UFC 238 is a big one. We got a big card coming at you from Chi-Town, Chi-Town, big city of dreams. Uh, double title fight. We have Cejudo versus Marlon Marais. Valentina versus Jessica I. We have Tony Ferguson versus Cowboy. Jimmy Rivera versus Peter Jan. Tui Vasa versus Ivanov. The prelims are even stacked. We have uh, Al Yamin versus Munoz. Uh, Carolina versus Grasso. We have an action-packed weekend coming up here, guys. Let's get it. Hop on any package right now and get the discount 10% off any pack by typing in the promo code FUN10. Let's get a free play. 7, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Yankees at the Toronto Blue Jays. We are going to take the Yankees on the run line. Free play of the day will be the New York Yankees minus one and a half. The Yankees have just lost back-to-back -back games in the first time in over a month, and now they are going to bring James Pax Paxton out to look to get them a win here, okay? He's 3-2, and 2.81 ERA, making his return to the rotation after being sidelined for a bit, and I'm rocking with them, okay? Rocking with the lefty. Yankees are 36-16 and 16 in their last 52 overall, 35-17 and 17 in their last 52 road games. Yankees are 10-3 and 3 in their last 13 meetings with the Blue Jays. They are bouncing back today. Before Paxton was sidelined, he was wheeling and dealing. The Yankees are 5-0 and 0 in Paxton's last five starts. The Yankees are 21-10 and 10 in game two of a series. Speaking of series, Yankees have now won nine straight series. Looking to make a 10. And then the Blue Jays over on their end. They just beat the Yankees last night. They're looking to roll out Trent Thornton. 4.53 ERA. 1-4 record. The rookie. He's a rookie. One, uh, 25 years old. He's starting to get a grip on the job. He hasn't factored into, he hasn't factored into his last three decisions. But he's been pretty solid his last two, two games out. However, in his home appearances, he's 0-3 with a 6.23 ERA and six starts at home. The Blue Jays. Eh, you know, 6-21 and 21 in their last 27 overall. 1-4 in, in their last five home games. Not too good against lefties. I think they're like 16-49 and 49 or 39 in their last 55 versus left-handers. And Paxton is a goodie. You know what I'm saying? Give me the Yankees. Toronto is 1-4 in, in their last five home games versus the Yankees. Yankees just lost those back-to-backs for the first time in a while, like a month or more or whatever. I expect them to bounce back nice. Free play of the day will be the Yankees on the run line. Hope to goodness that it's not another one of those, you know, Miami Marlins pop 16 runs on Brewers type games. But, you know, we're Yankees run line, free play of the day. Let's get it. Discount day. Let's get it. Good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.